And as I go into this journey, um, I, I realize that this is one of the toughest things that uh, anyone can do. <laughs> is I want you to imagine this. If let's say this is the mean, this is 50. I want you to envision having a rubber band and you pull it upwards and then have a rubber band, you stretch it downwards. There is just a limit to how much you can stretch the rubber band. And this is how the market breath concept functions. So when you have this rubber band, of course, in real life, you pull it hard enough, your rubber band will snap. The market will never snap. So this is like an indestructible rubber band. What you can be looking at is the max Okay, not, not so-called the maximum value, but so-called uh, the best fit. The best fit maximum, and then also the best fit minimum. So over here, we can see that, of course, maximum is zero and then hundred. Okay, let's just leave that out. There is almost no chance uh, that it will be at zero or at hundred. What do you think is uh, maybe one or two points or tips that you can share with them in order to help them to navigate this market uh, with more confidence and with um, all the practices, best practices in place? Well, I, I think a lot of uh, retail traders, they are very impatient because they, especially those that are not trading, not investing previously, and because of this opportunity, they want to dive straight into the market. Um, I would urge, um, it, you know, patience and caution as well because uh, the market is not as straightforward as it is. And uh, if the market is very straightforward, like if you do one, then you will get this result. Then every then there will be no extra spaces of, you know, there, there will be no opportunities to make money because everyone would know that in the first place.